get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. <laughs> I tried to do that less creepy, <laughs> but I've got a feeling that I just made that worse. <laughs> I've missed you guys so much. Oh my God, it's been forever, like five weeks or something. I want to thank you all so much for your patience. Uh, I had a few personal issues that I had to work through. I've done that. I'm back. I'm fighting fit, ready to rock and roll. We are going to smash out the recipes. So from now till Christmas, I'm just going to bang them out. Oh, this is so cool. All right. So I thought we'd start off with a complete and utter foolproof bicky. I love these coconut biscuits. There's bugger all in them. They make up shitloads for some reason. Absolutely moorish. Bloody easy to do. What more can you want? All right, so first thing we want to do is put 125 grams of butter chopped up into a medium bowl. You have to have the butter really, really soft at room temperature for this recipe to work, all right? So just put it in there and just leave it out for ages. Once that is soft and we're ready to go, you want to preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius. You want at least one baking tray with some baking paper. Okay, so once we're ready to go, we're going to need one cup of designated coconut. We're going to need one cup of caster sugar. We're going to need an extra quarter of a cup of caster sugar, two cups of self-raising flour, and two eggs. And that is it, folks. That is all we need. Okay, one cup of caster sugar into our softened butter. Now, with an electric beater, we want to beat that up until it's all beaten through properly. We now want to crack our eggs in and beat them up until they're blended through. So we need two cups of self-raising flour, but we want to mix one in at a time. So one cup, sift that in. All right, mix that through. All right, once that's mixed in, we do the second cup. All right, once that's done, we add our one cup of designated coconut. And we mix that in. All right, I've got my tray with my baking paper. I've got a tablespoon measurement and I have put some caster sugar in a bowl. So what we want to do is we want to get a level tablespoon, dig it out, roll it into a bowl, like a soup, put it into the sugar, the caster sugar, press down gently one way and then press down gently the other way, like a soup, and then put them on our tray. All right, so I'll just do six to a tray. As soon as our oven is hot enough, bang them in there. Now, in my plain electric oven, they take exactly 12 minutes. Now, I'll write the recipe in the description down below, but I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just hope that you're going to, are going to be able to see this properly, okay? So, this is on my home screen, all right? So, if you go on to Aussie Girl on the home screen. Now, if you're on a... Um, a TV you can't bring up the recipes and that you've got to be either on a laptop iPad or a mobile phone so okay so here's Aussie girl can cook now across the top here you'll see home videos playlists and community if you click on the videos every single video I've ever made will come up there in a row if you click on playlists every single playlist that I've made up will come up there for you if you click on community if I go missing for a while, I will set, put a post up here in the community letting you know exactly what's going on. Alright, so we'll just go back to home. Now, if you go into a video, press pause on the video. Now, straight down below the video, if you see this little upside down arrow next to the actual writing of the video, if you press on that, up will come up the recipe. Just press on more. And the whole recipe will come up here. And that's how you find the recipes. Alrighty, 12 minutes later. Oh my God, mate, they smell amazing. First batch is ready. Alright, so just grab them. If you've got a cooling tray, use it. If you don't, just put them on a bench or a table somewhere. Just slide it off. And let them cool on there for a few minutes first. Then slide them onto the bench or onto the cookie thingy. So while they're really hot, if you went to pick them up, they break and they're really soft. So you need to leave them there for a few minutes. Then after a few minutes, they're touchable enough to be able to slide them off onto something else. God, I love how many this makes up. <laughs> All right, look at these bad boys. Get your lips around that. <laughs> 
Alright, so they're crunchy on the outside and they're kind of soft on the inside, but they're not like crunchy, break your teeth crunchy. They're like crunchy, melt in your mouth crunchy. Oh, they're so good. Give them a crack. Your whole family's going to love them. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back really soon, eh? Toodles.